So we'll just go for copying the data. Rainfall, umbrella, salt. Okay, you, these are the two data. Now, if you want to solve the any equation by using the solvers, you need to add up that the add-ons. Solver add-ons are default. I add a gerangal like Excel. Adan ni mo add mar beko. So solver add-ons le ni mige different options varta be. So based on your requirement. So let us see how we can add the solvers. Solver add-on. Okay. So file lo. Ella options ho beko. Go to options. Then you check out add-ins here. So in add-ons. You got any number of options here. Ela na dawa inactive application add-on so, ela active application add-on so. So ela na dani mege solar add-on anta da. Awa da analysis tool pack anta da. Winjif Express or Office anta da. So you normally active ila live. You need to add them. So how we can go for adding? So go to bank. Okay. Select here options. In 2007 also same. Go to options, then you click on addings. So then you go for addings. So we'll get in solver addings, right? So then you say go. Once you gone, you are going to get a different addings available in solver. Solver is a main addin. Otherly, ni mage matte le bare bare bardao. Okay. So you got addings say so one is what analysis tool pack. Another one is solver addin. So now, if you want to go for analysis tool pack, again you are going to get some tools which are required for statistical analysis, which are required for the statistical analysis. Now let us see. I am going to remove. Now we'll say okay. So if you want to data here, you are going to get the add-ons which are added in the Excel. Okay. Now as I don't have any add-ons, I'll go back to options. I'll click here addings. So now you got a solver add-in. Then you say go. Then you select the sub addings you want to add. Now I'll say okay. And you got a solver. You got a data analysis, right? So now if you select any one, let us take a data analysis. It is going to be related to the tool pack, which is available. So now these are the statistical tools you can use to get the required output what are those anava single factor two factor with replication two factor without replication correlation covariance descriptive statistics exponential smoothening f test two samples for variance four year series histogram moving average random number generation rank and percentile regression similarly sampling okay so you are going to get these uh, some problems in uh, OR. In higher semester, you have OR subject birth. Other way, you will have problems uh, identify mark. Okay. Now we are going to use only regression here. Now click on regression. Say OK. Now you need to select a data range here. Now which one is the input? Y range. So umbrella solid is a Y range. Okay. So X input is rainfall. Okay, so now if you got a labels or the selection, then you click on labels here. Okay, so now these are the some residuals you can add up for getting more precise data. Okay, if I say residual plots, it is going to plot the residuals. That means so to get any output as you come across in a manual calculation, you have calculated sigma y, sigma x. Sigma x y, sigma x square, sigma y square. If you comprise those things, you are getting some residual. That means extra value or lesser value. That is in a fraction. 0 0.05, 0 0.075, plus 0.05. Then, Bertha, this value is going to be called as a residual. Now, what I'll do? Now, I'm just saying, going to click on simply OK. Now whatever data is there, it is going to be provided in a new worksheet. You just observe here, new worksheet I am selecting. Whatever the calculation it is going to be calculated with the help of this regression analysis, it is going to be plotted in a new worksheet. Now how many worksheet you got here? You got only one? Now let us say I am going to say okay. 
so now this is our data it has been obtained by the regression analysis so now these are the values you just observe here residual you got a 21 values so summation you got a some meaning here so you can just ignore these meanings okay? if you want to study detail so you can discuss when you are free okay now this is about a regression statistics what you required here now multiple r 0.2928 R square 0.86, adjacent R square, adjacent R square 0.855, standard error 4.81, observations 23. Okay. So number of observations there actually 24. So it has excluded one observation. It has come to 23. Uh, 20, instead of 24, it come to 23. Now this is about getting the value of regression coefficients with the help of regression tool. Okay. Regression tool mele ille madhari values obtain madhari. This is what a one. Okay. Next, obtaining the value with the help of chart as well as some functions. So, what are the functions? What are the values you need to find out? What is the linest, intercept, slope, and correlation? Problem definition le barkundra mele. Right. So now let us observe it. Before that one, I am going to plot a chart. I am going to plot a chart and I am going to get an equation. So now I will click here, insert. I will go to chart. I will select x, y, scatter, point. Okay. Right click. Select data. Go for add. Just to select a series x value. Now this is what a series of x value. Okay. So now this is what a series y value. Now you just observe here, value is started from 80 onwards. No value is 5, 6, 10. It started from 80. So now to fix your major axis, to fix your major axis, just right click over the major axis. You just observe here, I am right clicking. I am going to format the axis. I am going to format the axis. <coughs> now select here. Now minimum value I am going to specify here it is a 75. And I will say OK. OK. Got a difference? You got a difference in chart? OK. Now to add the trend line, to add the trend line, select over the data, right click add trend lines so as you are going to perform linear click on linear if you want to go for exponential click on exponential so now as you are going to perform a linear regression click over linear regression so now you just click over display equation on chart display r squared value on a chart then you just close now i just going to drag these values here so now you just observe where you got an equation you got an equation. What is the value of R square here? S to the R square value? 0.0669. Let us check over here. How much you got R square value here? 0.862. There is a minor difference. Let it be. Okay. Got the idea how to get the equation coefficients using the chart as well as using the solver. Now let us go for writing the functions to get the value of line est next one is a slope next one is the intersect next is correlation ok you just observe I am performing yesterday class some operations here I will go for equal. Now I will select in line est. Now you need to select two arrays here. For every function, if you need to select two arrays. That means dependent value and independent value. Now if I select the function here, it is displaying, you just observe, noun y values, noun x values. First you need to select the y values. So now what are the y values? 
umbrella sold or y values then you put a comma here okay then you select x values then you enter okay 0 0.4583 is a one value another value is minus 18.18 are you getting minus 18.18 somewhere here you just observe here in an equation you got a coefficients a and b right so linest means it is going to give you the coefficients related to linear equation minus 0 0.458 other than ax plus b y equal to ax plus b correct uh, linear equation a coefficient is 0 0.458 in our equation you got y equal to minus sorry y equal to 0 0.4583 b value is minus 18.81 here you got a b value here you got a b value agree next you observe the slope here again you select arrays x values comma y values ok this is what a slope intercept intr scpt again you select the ranges y value comma x values ok intercept next correlation equal to c o r r e l again same select y value comma then select x value right so you just observe you got all the parameters required for regression analysis is it clear